Remember rapping Duke? The hard, the hard. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Closed minded folks, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got a demo tape and don't nobody want to hear it, but it's like this the South got something to say. That's all I got to say. Yeah, all the time. I mean, a, a lot of different places there's colors and Crips and blood and stuff like it's, it's, it's hoods and wars were in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? You represent your hood and shit like that. Slim was, Slim was a, a, he was real, real true and loyal to us. You know what I'm saying? That was our dude. You know, I knew his reputation. You know, I, I knew what type of person he was. I knew about the dirt and all that type of shit. But when it came to us, he was like a brother, bro. You know what I'm saying? We we went in that water for him and everything. I mean, before Slim even got with No Limit, he was on a pocket, Parkway Pump It Up. There was a nice little label, but they didn't have the clout cash money had. So, by, you know, our, our reputation with Slim and our, you know, how we was with him. We said, come on, dog, we I was a weed fiend, no fiend, and coke fiend with low key. And I was on a come move when you and LB used to rock the club 49. So, we brought him to the studio to, to record a song called Come Up Move. We was recording on, I think, our third album, Mac Mouth Cali album. And Baby and Slim was like, nah, dog, y'all can't let him get on the song. He not with this label, so, you know, he had problems with that. Matter of fact, the only person that we was able to network with back then was Bun B and Pimp C. You know, if you wasn't signing cash money, you wasn't Bun up Pimp. You can't really, they wasn't really letting us network with people. So what happened was, you know, we, we went in that water behind Slim. We got into it with him, and they shut the studio, shut us down. We told him we wasn't recording shit until they let Slim get on the song. So they called us two weeks later. It was like, man, y'all got it, dog. Y'all go ahead, bring them to the studio, knock the song out, continue your album. You know what I'm saying? So that's how real shit was with us and Slim. You know what I mean? I mean, y'all and Slim had to be the most most ignorant motherfucking rappers in New Orleans, dog. Real talk. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. That, that was their reputations, you know? Nah, nah. Uh -uh, uh -uh. The Neville brothers? Nah, we went to school with a couple of them. Oh, they, they, they oh, never used shit. That's yeah, a bunch of them. Uh huh. Ricky, Neville, Norman. Yeah. The last time I saw school was uh, at a club called the Warehouse. Oh, hell no. Yeah, pulled up in the uh, Escalade truck. We pulled up in the Escalade. We were just outside talking shit, man. Right. But, you know, we used to see each other all the time. Shit like that. That's the last time I remember seeing it. When you go around a nigga, set him banging, Mr. Nigga, you were supposed to pull up. Stop. Gotta watch your back. Cause that monkey all on it Got stupid paranoid with like them people got you wanting I handle my business full of that fire Don't give me no fire, don't give me no care Man, don't want to go in that way, yo You know what I mean, that other level Past the shovel, and I'm gon' dig it so 